Hello and good morning, family. I already did your oracles, but now I'm going to fulfill a request, kind of like I did with red and blue team, but I'm going to do overall energy because um, we've been focusing on the U.S. because of what's going on with Check Your Box Day. But someone has asked about Canada, and I've had another one ask about Europe. So we're going to do a five-card spread for each of those areas. I am going to lump Europe all into one group. So no matter where you're at, it's just easier. If I had the time, I would break it down country by country. But <clears throat> since I can't, we're just going to do overall. Okay, and I know Canada's broken up into territories, but we're going to do overall country. All right, so we're going to start with Canada, and then I'm going to use the true crime deck over here, this great big old deck, and some tokens to kind of help clarify what might be going on over there. Some hidden things, some political things, overall energy of the people, your leaders, whatever that means. So let's start with Canada first. Okay. All right. Everybody's watching the U.S. and I get it. What happens here can affect the globe. So let's ask spirit overall energy of what to look for or how it is in Canada. How are they dealing with their own Mr. T? Keep in mind that we're well aware of the actor portraying the Mr. T, but what can we look for in Canada? All right, here we go. So we're going to do five cards. All right, here we go. Canada. Queen of Pentacles. All right. She's a manifester, one with nature. She's very wealthy and abundant. Okay. Now, I do believe that you guys are under the royal crown, I believe. Ten of Pentacles. Group of wealth, generational wealth. Hmm. The emperor yeah our mr. T is going to affect the the royals and this ongoing generational monarchy temperance be patient Canada have patience we have to wait for him to get in there to do what he needs to do to handle this generation seven of cups so you guys may be facing a lot of the same things lots of illusion and disinformation out there seven of cups is about making choices generally but this has got strong implications of don't believe everything you see and hear so no knee-jerk reactions for you guys either be patient and watch and wait and see how this happens okay so there's something that's going to happen with the royal bloodline here Okay, we know that there's a lot of history there. Canada, be, Canada being under the crown. Curious to know, this is like almost springing free, releasing from the crown. I wonder if that's on the agenda, right? Now, this could be a representation of your Mr. T and how he's tied in to this, all right? Not necessarily, um, it's like how he follows the rules of the crown. We know his bloodline, your Mr. T. Um, what is it, uh, the old leader of Cuba? I don't know why his name is escaping me right now, but it is. Um, Castro, that's what I'm thinking. Thank you, Wings. So... Let's watch your Mr. T, but our Mr. T is also going to do something with the royal bloodline here. So be patient, watch and wait. I get you might get some freedom, but it's a good reminder to st steer clear of uh, misinformation. Okay, 
All right, I'm going to break this true crime deck up. It's a lot of cards to shuffle. I'll break them up and we'll pull a couple cards to lay on top of the tarot to see if there's any uh, hanky panky sneaky stuff going on that you may need to pay attention to. And if you saw the read that I did on the blue and red teams, you'll get an idea of what I could possibly be looking for. <laughs> Takes a minute, but this card is a beautiful deck, and Alicia Wicker is the one that created it and put it out. Beautiful deck, lots of choices. It's also it includes her add-on edition as well. She really doesn't leave anything out. All right, so now I'm going to break this up. See where we go with this all right hopefully you can see this I'll leave them here and I'll pull them out inside job mm -hmm. <clears throat> bad guy well we know your mr. T is we know that he works and that's over the queen accomplice partner in crime they're all in on it microchip have they been pushing um, tracking issues with you guys? Are Canadians being, they want a social credit score? Maybe you already have one. I'm, I apologize. I'm not real familiar. Um, I know the government wants more control over its people. But this is also a good reminder that I'm, I'm getting that they've got evidence the good guys have evidence and have tracked all this nefarious stuff going on here. Okay. Fear. This is over. Now I'm getting that that would be your Mr. T. Terrified. Yeah, this family dynasty. That The royals and Castro's, all the deep state, the family dynasty and all of that are terrified right now as they should be flight risk okay so i think that they have so much fear they would like to run but the good guys have said i don't think so you will not be traveling health risk are they trying to implement the face diapers again I'm just curious, are they trying to do, now if I pull bioweapon, that'll tell me they may try to convince you that there's a new um, bugger out there that you're going to have to lock down. I don't really, I haven't followed Canadian news, so you guys will have to let me know in the comments, are they trying to push a fear on you, okay? There's a female energy coming in. Fire. Ooh. Hmm. Curious to know if the female energy could be an up and coming politician that's going to set Canada on fire. Could be a, it could be a passion, but it could mean burning it to the ground. The female could be nefarious as well. Okay. I don't know about your all's elections, but there it looks like there could be a female. Uh, as an option that could be running for a position. Now, it doesn't have to be prime minister or whatever you call your leader, forgive me. Um, it could be another high up governmental position that might, you know, set Canada ablaze with talk, rumor um, that she's really going to get people fired up. Okay. I don't know who this is. You'll have to let me know in the comments what's going on. All right, let's pull some. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I'll break it down. We'll do Canada first. I'm going to pull a couple of these for um, each section here. 
45 is the horse, and number 11 is court. Some justice going down for these bad guys. Let's look at 45. What is our horsey? Uh, freedom, travel, power. Okay, so the power of um, the deep state here. 11 is courthouse, legal issues, the law, government, politics. All right, I think that you guys are going to have your own version of your tribunals. Okay, these, these bad guys aren't going anywhere. 23 is a home. And 36 are the glasses. All right. <clears throat> 23. Stability, current or new residents relating to home life. Hmm. Okay. 36. Let's see if we can add to it. Needing clarity. Look at all the details. Okay. So I'm curious to know if they're buttoned in on how you're supposed to run your home. All right, they want more control. I'm getting that maybe um, a property, land grabs. Hmm, we do need more clarity on this. Hmm, okay, let's move on. We'll sit on that for a second and see. All right, so we have love and lips. Okay, because my eye is drawn to the fear card, they're scared, but you should not be scared of the future. Go with love, go with positivity, speak kind words, loving energy. Do not fear what's about to happen to this family dynasty, okay? You worry about self-love and loving others and the humanitarian side. Don't worry about this all come crumbling down. It's a good thing for you. We just have to get through the yucky stuff. All right. The crown, mm-hmm. See, I keep going back to the crown and that dynasty here. And 119 is Gemini. Okay, and Gemini to me could be two-faced. We know that the crown is two-faced, okay? And they, they're masked people. Whether you want to call them the lizard people or whatever, but... What you get in public is not what you get behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. well, you guys kind of already know this. All right. What's this energy? What is female? Balloons are about celebration. Hmm. It's a celebration. A milestone is about to happen for Canada. Not quite sure what it is, but there's a there's a strong female energy there. And 117 is the Aries sign. Hmm. Yeah, which is a fire inner. I mean, that is like passion, desire. Aries are very opinionated and they've got great plans. Uh, the affirmation is I am. So it's somebody very, very powerful. Yeah, I'm very curious to know, guys, if if there's a female running for a very high political office that's really going to stir things up in Canada. Okay? But no matter what, go with love because all of this is going down. All right? You're Mr. T being linked to the crown. I see that going away. I really do. Hmm. Okay. All right, I am going to put these tokens back. And I'll pull some for Europe in just a second. I'm going to just push these up. I'm going to pull Europe down here because of the crown is located there. I'm going to leave these Canada out because you do a lot of what Europe has. Let's push these over here. All right, so we're going to use this deck to look into Europe, okay? Like I said, lumping all of the countries into a group. So this is overall energy, what to look for. Um, 
because of the crown. And if you are an independent country in Europe, you're still paying attention to your neighbors. Okay, what's going on? So whether it's tied to Britain or, uh, you know, it, and I'm including Scotland, Ireland, I want all these nations to come together in this reading. I apologize if you want an individual and you'll have to let me know to break it down and I can do that on a separate read. So right now we're just going to do overall energy of the Europe. Okay, this can be NATO, United Nations on, and bringing it together. What is the overall energy? Because they are also looking at the U.S. elections. They could try to interfere. King of Wands. <clears throat> All right, so there's a lot of passion and desire to move forward. I see this castle. Could this be Sausage Fingers himself? He looks more like a William to me. Five of Pentacles. Well, they're not, he's not going anywhere. He's been kicked out, removed. Um, so we're still focusing on family dynasty and the, the royal bloodline here. Looks like the monarchy is down. They're not allowed back in. They're broke. Queen of Cups. She's my Diana card. I'm curious if this is a female energy. That's coming in. She's very loving, compassionate. She's very intuitive. Um, she has a lot of empathy for the people. So once again, Europe, you're also looking at a divine feminine energy here that's going to rise up. People are going to look to her. It could be the same energy. All right. Diana, that's my Diana card. Okay. The star, you've also got your galactic federation. That's global. They don't just work for the U.S. They are movers and shakers all over the globe. This is hope and optimism and healing for all of Europe. You're going through it right now, but you're going to be healed. And something's tied to this female energy, the divine feminine, the tower, all right, Europe. So a lot of your nations and where you're at now with your political leaders, that's all going to come crashing down. Federation's going to make sure of it. I know you're anxious, but remember temperance up here, Canada had it. You're going to have to be patient because this has to fall. It's like dominoes. What you'll see happen in the U.S. will influence Canada and Europe. But there's hope and optimism that the whole thing's going to be torn down. That's, that's a good thing. Getting there, that's that's the half the battle, right? All right. So let's bring in these again. I'll do a little more shuffling and see if we can get some energy for Europe. What can stand out? Maybe it's behind the scenes. Maybe it's going to be in your face. And I still am anxious to hear from you guys about what's going on over there. It's hard to stay up on the whole world when there's so much going on right here. But I will do my best. All right. Set these off to the side. You can still see them. So here we go. Toxic food. Food shortage. Are you guys dealing with this? It could be an indication that... Um, now, you guys are much better about not having toxic things in your food. Like, things that they don't allow in your nations uh, are dumped into our food, especially processed foods and dyes and things like that. So I'm leaning more towards food shortage. If things go down here in the U S we're not going to have food shortages. Um, it could put everybody in a panic in the European countries like, Oh crap, here we go. Reptilian. 
I think this is a plan of the lizard people, as we say. This is what they want, because then you're more reliant on the governments and the nations over there to get what you need, and people will be willing to do it, and they may introduce this chippy thing, okay? Evil corporations, and we know they're run by these guys, they would like nothing more than to have you guys panic. So it's like Canada up here. No fear, guys. I hope you can plan ahead if that's an option. Rival, we are playing chess here. And they understand that this is this is spiritual warfare, guys. I mean, this it's global. The Galactic Federation is trying to do their best to take these guys out. But it, it is chess. All right. This is dark versus light. Rope. They will be hung. Truth will come out. It's interesting that this is over my Diana card. Okay, I think she might be at the helm of this. To have this come out. Uh, these politicians of, oh, I swear to do this, but they're really crossing their fingers behind their back. It's going to come out, guys. Just like our EBS and the truth about all of our dirty, rotten politicians and Hollywood and all that, you guys are going to be dealing with this yourself. So your EBS may look a little different than ours. The whole globe's going to go through it inside. Okay. So inside job, inside insider information, somebody's got, and that's over the star card. So somebody's got some hidden stuff. Puppet control. Yeah. So all of your leaders are also just puppets of a larger system here. We're all kind of dealing with the same thing. All right. Death hoax. Hmm. Death hoax. Diana, maybe? Or you may hear of another one. Diana? Diana? friend she's a friend I uh, yeah see I keep leaning more towards Diana energy here very friendly kind of had to fake their own death to make sure that they got out of the grip of these bad guys hmm wow all right well let's pull some tokens for you guys and see where Europe is and when I lumped all of Europe together, it's because the, all the leaders work amongst each other. So all the European countries, your politicians are neighboring and, and making deals with your next door neighbor. So that's why I put them all together. All right. So we have a diamond ring, 106. I believe that's a proposal. Something might be proposed. Um, 114 is the anchor. Hmm. All right. So someone's really committed to this. Now, the bad guys are committed to maybe make sure there's food shortages so you're dependent upon them. But this can also be someone coming in and having a commitment to clean it all up. Let's see what this anchor is. Okay, it's symbolic of safety, hope, strength, and security. So this is a good, somebody's committed to fixing this issue. Okay, so I don't want you to panic. No panic buying. Okay, just like here in the U.S., get you a little rice and beans if that's possible, and sit back and enjoy the show. Let's move on over here. We have 136, 139. Okay, 139 is the trying. This is harmonizing energy. I get that the people are really sticking together no matter what country you come from. You're harmonizing together for one um, outcome, one goal is to clean all this up. Like you all in agreement. The people are good, sovereign, divine people because it's like the Trinity. Um, you, you want God back and you want harmony amongst humanity. The rocket ship is out of this world. It's because you've got Federation movement very, very strong in Europe right now. 
Okay. And that's their goal is to get humanity to wake up and realize that, you know what, we don't need these big monarchs and corporations to tell us what to do. Humanity can take care of themselves if we would just be left alone, so to speak, right? All right. <clears throat> what do we have here? An important part of the day. Cup of coffee, 95, cup of tea. Tea time, what are we going to be discussing? And you also have justice. That could be a conversation around tea time. Let's take a look. All right. Awaken your senses. Okay, so whether that's coffee or tea, uh, tune in, harmonize your discernment of what's really going on, that justice really is being served. Okay, you may not see it in front of your face and on your, your tellies, as you guys say, but it is happening. All right, so tune into that energy. Here's a couple more. <clears throat> Beautiful daisy flower. And we have a ruffle cactus here. Wow, those are kind of opposites. Let's see, 142 is our sweet little daisy, and that is about stop and smell the flowers. That means don't let all that negative energy of what could be happening uh, overpower just living your life and being in the moment. Stop and smell the flowers, so to speak, okay? Have fun, enjoy, laugh, don't forget the good stuff, even through all this garbage. Five, seven, even in a prickly situation. That's right, Winks. All right, <clears throat> 57 is uh, being resilient or having a standoff attitude. That's right. Uh, remember that kindness and, and that love energy that really needs to be put off. I know that your standoff is towards rulers, and that's okay. But remember, when it comes to humanity and your fellow neighbor, don't be standoffish. Love. All right. Maybe you have a neighbor that drives you crazy. That doesn't mean you stop loving them. Love your neighbor. Pray for them. It'll be all right. They may just be stuck. They may be an NPC. We don't know. All right. Here's final two. Have a little shark. Mm, this is like danger in the shadows. And 24s, nuts and bolts. Hmm. Danger lurks. Yeah, unseen dan danger and predators. So they're still kind of out there lurking. 24 is nuts and bolts. It's not 100% cleaned up yet, guys. So that's why you have to keep your head on the swivel and kind of just be aware. Use your senses. Um, practical matters, matters and core issues. And the core issues, that let the uh, Federation... And the good guys help clean this up. You spread your truth. Be aware that they still are lingering and lurking out there. But stick to the practical things, what you need to do. You need a roof over your head. You need food on the table. And you need love in your heart and taking care of friends. Practical matters of living your life and being a human being. Just keep loving. Your frequency and your energy is helping this move a lot faster. Okay? All right, guys. So there's Canada and there's European countries. And Europe, don't be mad at me. It's hard to do individual. I'd be here forever. Um, but you both can stop worrying about the crown. And if you're an independent free sovereign and you're not under the crown... You still have to deal with deep state, okay? But this is saying, you know, don't fear it. The truth is going to come out. Puppet masters are going to go away. Just remember, stop and smell the roses. Love yourself. Love your neighbor. Love your family and have a little fun. Watch it. Use your discernment. It's going to be all right, okay? All right, guys. I hope that answers questions. As you guys watch the U.S. go through this roller coaster, you guys are going through your own. We're all in this together, and we're cheering each other on, okay? I love you, Canada. I love you, Europe. I love the rest of the world. I'm not leaving out New Zealand and Australia and Russia and China and all that. I'm not. Uh, if you're from there and you want me to do a reading, that's fine. you got to let me know. Email me. 
Um, curious to know about this female energy, guys. It could be Diana. Leave your comments. Let me know. All right? You guys have a blessed day. Remember, God loves you. So do I.